What's up, guys? I'm with this idiot. His brother stole my bike. Now his brother's gonna get a felony. He'll probably get a felony too. <laughs> Alright, so, today we got a funny topic to talk about, we got a funny topic to talk about, it's this doorknob stole my e-bike out of my garage, right? <coughs> so like, basically, I, uh, I went like to like run to the gas station or something, completely my fault, I left my garage open, right? my garage open so probably 15 minutes I come back it's hot I'm in Florida right it's hot as shit. so I'm like I don't even think about the e-bike right I literally just I'm just like holy shit, I'm so hot I'm going inside didn't even check to see the e-bike nothing I'll play footage I literally missed the people that stole my bike from my garage probably by like 15 seconds like you can see me getting back home and you can see them like walking with the bike but from my point of view it just looks like a bicycle because if you've seen the e-bike you know it just kind of looks like a, a mountain bike kind of so that was shit but yeah so like i um i didn't think anything of it right and then the next day i wake up and like we're gonna go to the beach so i was like I'm just gonna go ride the e-bike while we're waiting for everybody because I was ready before everybody else. And fucking lo and behold, I get out there and there's fucking, there's no e-bike. And I was like, wait a minute. At first I thought like Blake was messing with me or something. Then I walk inside and I'm like, the e-bike's gone. And like, we're with everybody. We're in Madison, Blake, Jenna, Jeremy, everybody. And uh, they're like, what the f Everyone like starts kind of low key freaking out. So I was like, all right, screw it. I mean, it's someone definitely stole it. It's probably in their garage somewhere locked up. Like, you know, somewhere that people, like, we, we won't be able to find it. Except the dummy that stole it is like 14 or 12 or something. So he, he just threw it in the woods, right? So. So, um since he was a kid he didn't really have like a place to put it so we were just riding around like just i was just in my truck with jenna and jeremy was with madison in their car and um and um shit I'm, I'm, my mind's blanking the add um yeah so jeremy's jeremy's with madison i'm with jenna and we're just kind of riding like we're just looking right we're just assuming we're assuming it's gone but I was like, maybe, maybe he's dumb enough to ride it. I said, maybe he's dumb enough to ride it. Like, I, I don't know why he would have. But sure enough, we're, we're just driving around. I get off the phone with my parents, basically telling them what happened. And uh, Jeremy calls me and he's like, and he calls me, but he's still like yelling at the kid. So you hear him just like screaming at this kid to like get off the bike, yelling at him that it's not his bike, all this shit, which is hilarious like a lot of you guys don't really know Jeremy like we know Jeremy so it's like it may not be as funny to you but he's like the nicest guy ever like he's probably like top five nicest people I've ever met maybe even like top three so like it's just funny because it's Jeremy yelling at this kid and um <laughs> and uh oh shit my brain yeah so we pull up on the kid He's young, dude. He's like a little kid, and he's just like acting like it wasn't him. He said it was his brother that stole it and gave it to him. All this shit, and I'm like, I mean, I guys, I'm a nice guy. I'm a nice guy, but uh, I don't, I don't tolerate bullshit like that. Like he stole five thousand dollars out of my garage, right? Some of you may be like, oh, he's just a kid. Kids make mistakes. I don't give a fuck. That kid stole five thousand dollars out of my garage. That is a felony. I think that's multiple felonies technically. So I was like, like I was just pressing him. I, I knew he was lying to me. I knew he stole it, but I was just waiting to get it out of him. So I was yelling at him, telling him he's gonna go to prison and shit, just doing like what people do to scare kids, you know. And uh, sure 
sure enough, he ends up being like, yeah, it was me, type shit, you know? Uh, yeah, so he, he basically ends up telling me it was, it was him. Quick shift over, alert, thank you. Uh, he ends up telling me it's him. I'm like, because I was like, either way, you're getting a felony. Like, I'm pressing charges on you because your brother's not here. I hit him with all this scary stuff, whatever. Uh, I wasn't gonna, I didn't press charges on him. I probably won't. I just want my e-bike fixed because he, <laughs> when we found the kid, his whole back was black. And, and he like, I guess he looped the shit out of the e-bike because he destroyed it. The bike is destroyed. So I was like, what the f***? Um, my e-bike. So basically I just told the cops, I was like, if he can, if him or his guardian, whoever they are, can just pay for it. All I need is them to pay for it. If they can pay for it, we're good. No harm, no foul. So I took it to a shop. <laughs> That was sick! Uh, yeah, so I took it to a shop and I basically said like, look over it, uh, let me know what it is. But I'll, I'll play the clips of like us talking to the kid. They all probably think it's pretty funny. And I'll just probably end the video here. Oh. Yeah, so I'll play the video, and then, well, you know, y'all, y'all can, y'all can say what you, say what you want. Uh, it, I don't give a fuck that he's a kid. I'm gonna put his face in the video. Uh, you shouldn't steal from me, and maybe he'll learn his lesson. Uh, because I could have made it a lot worse. Like this could have been way worse for him. What's up, guys? I'm with this idiot. His brother stole my bike. Now his brother's gonna get a felony. He'll probably get a felony too. <laughs> Blake's probably like, where the f are we right now? <laughs> <laughs> What the fuck is this? What the fuck is this? <laughs> what the fuck did we just pull up? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> we turn the corner, there's fucking 40 guys just <laughs> hey, let's stop. Let's look. Dude, what the fuck? What? I don't know. This is this is that place I was telling you about. I think it's where everybody goes to just do stupid shit. Shit. some solid flybys right here. I don't know where we are. You trying to kill me? Yeah. Yeah, so I have no idea where we are. I just let Blake into like the middle of nowhere. My GoPro turned off right before the fucking, right before we saw the guys. Um, so that's awkward. away with it he would have done it again that's all there is to it 
That kid knew exactly what he was doing when he stole the bike. And that bike is not cheap, bro. I put a couple hundred dollars in that thing. That thing was $4,500. Like, that is not cheap. Um, so yeah, he knew what he was doing. That's all there is to it. It's just plain and simple. He knew that, that what he did was completely illegal. And he went into our garage. Sorry, I'm not gonna play any of that nicely. You came into our garage. Why are you breaking? blows my mind that like that kid actually had the audacity at his age to steal that granted I don't think he knew how much money it was because a lot of people don't realize how expensive those things are so I don't think that he still stole it but I don't think he realized the severity of what he stole like it's not a normal mountain bike if it was a normal mountain bike I wouldn't give a fuck but it's it's a expensive ass e-bike that I worked my ass off for, to clarify. I didn't get that, that was not given to me. That's not a birthday present. I bought that myself, all right? So I, I'm not gonna take it lightly when someone tries to steal my shit. That's all there is to it. But yeah, we're about to, we're about to hit up Publix and then um, and we're gonna go home. So I just needed to make this video so that I could like explain to y'all the whole situation so you kind of understood. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys found some comedy in it. Cause I mean, me and Blake really thought it was funny. We just kind of like turned him into a meme. I'm not gonna expose his full name, but his face is out there. So like, you know, I'm not saying bully the kid. I'm not saying anything like that. I just want his face to be out there so people know that that kid is a thief. That's all there is to it. I don't see anything wrong with that. All right, boys, it was fun. Hope you guys enjoyed, say bye. Yeah. Stop, stop. Ah! Ah!